Hey guys, this is Greg from followgregsports.com. Today I'm going to show you an example of when to switch attention from the player crossing the ball to the players in front of the goal. In this case, I'm going to walk you through how I captured this shot. This is footage from a GoPro camera mounted in the flash shoe of my camera. In this case, I'm shooting using a Nikon D500 with a Sigma 120-300 2.8 sports lens using a monopod. Now typically, I like to set up behind the goal to capture players running towards me, but due to the way this field is fenced and the current COVID restrictions, I was restricted to shoot from the corner where there was a fence opening. I was there to shoot the team in blue, and in this case, they were attacking the near side goal seen on the left. The problem with this corner location is you get really bad angles. You can't see the play in the far corner as it's obstructed by the goal. And you typically can't see the attacking right winger as they will be obscured by the backs of the defending team. And if the play is coming down the left side, you can capture the dribbling, but not the shot. Plus, the flag gets in the way in most shots, but you know, COVID, so you take what you can get. The most important tip for this video though is when to make the decision to stop focusing on the far right side winger and then pull back for the players in the box. Watch as the play develops on the far side. When the right winger starts down the side, I'm already focused on him and I fire off a few shots at a full 300 millimeter. And then as soon as he draws his leg back for the cross, I quickly adjust the lens wide to 195 millimeter to get ready for the cross. As the ball is in the air, I fire off another sequence of shots. Let's watch the sequence over again and watch where my camera first starts with the sequence of shots on the right winger and then quickly readjusts to capture the shots in front of the goal. Here is the final processed and crop shot that I published. This is another tip on how understanding the game and the way the current game you are photographing can help you set up the perfect shot. You can find more tips in my masterclass, Mastering Youth Soccer Photography, or see my work at followgregsports.com.